Okay, first and foremost, my voice might sound really bad. Uh, my throat is messed up. It's not like I'm sick. I feel fine. And my throat doesn't even hurt. It just feels blah, like there's like a lump. Um, I guess I'll talk about that a bit. But, um, okay, next series is Broken Age. Um, my story with this game is that seven years ago, it may actually be coming up to eight. I'm not sure. I need to check, like, the ex exact date. But, um... The YouTube channel NerdCubed, who I loved as a kid, I still love him, I just don't watch him much anymore, um, made a video on this when it was in its alpha stage, and I don't know why that video just always stuck in my head. Uh, I've, even though I don't remember anything about it other than the visuals, and I've never watched anybody play it, Broken Age has just always been in the back of my head, so when it got added to the Game Pass, I was immediately like, I'm going to play this, because it's like... It's just a weird one. It's always been in my head, but I never bothered actually looking into anything. So, here we go. Um, yes, I remember this. I remember the art style being really cool. And I, as far as I know, there's these two different stories of this boy and this girl, and I'm assuming that they connect somehow. Because, you know, we can choose which one we want. Uh, let's do the boy first. Um, about being sick, my mom had covid and i may have gotten it but i feel f fine again it's just my throat feels hey, off nice again it doesn't stuff. hurt i don't have a headache my stomach doesn't hurt i just feel blah mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is that's my boy oh here comes your mother i remember i remember the mom from the video i don't remember anything like she says i just remember her face <laughs> No bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Tinkle fairies? That sounds Come on gross. Lots of important adventures to go on today. It's like the tooth fairy, but they steal your piss. I'll turn on the mean sound. The mean sound? Okay, you asked for it. Uh, it's just a normal alarm. I thought it was going to be like really ag an aggressive sound. What a good boy. Honestly, I probably could have moved. I didn't press WACD, I just clicked a bunch of stuff. How did it take off the pants? Did that go... Whoa. That's harassment. Got touched by a robot. I still don't understand how the pants went off. How did they go, like, over through your arms and head and everything? Choco Choco rock, or Chaco, sorry. Uh, no way, I guess. No way. Cinnamons. Oh, that's the. Oh, uh, bye. I don't know what you are. Uh, I guess I'd rather. Eat. I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. Honey <laughs> holograms. No thanks, computer. What other options do we have? Nibu lumps. Nibu lumps. Look at him. Don't I hate yeah. him? No, I hate that. Why can't I just choose Soylent? Uh, I don't want to trust that Soylent. That does they don't have good no, ingredients. Kind of today. I've never actually seen Bunches that movie. Of oh, of space! I like how she said that. Sustenance distribution. Like a little spoon. The spoon looked like oh. Yeah, those little hexagon things. They're flying in space, I don't know if they... The Milky Breach. Did they add milk? I didn't now, see if they added milk. I wasn't paying attention. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. Oh, the spoon's talking. I thought it was like the screen on the left, but it's the spoon. Exactly Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? <laughs> well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Alright. You really okay, didn't care? Computer. I remember this image a lot. I don't know why. I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. <laughs> okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get on to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. 
We've also received a mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. That seems important. What orders we have, Captain? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lawyer right here. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Oh, I don't like you going out there. I like her. <laughs> She's cute. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can. I still really don't know anything what this game is about. I just it's just always been in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. It's like th one episode from Evangelion. <laughs> Jesus. Also, like the helmet is pretty lumpy. <laughs> it's like okay. it's not very the ship. good. The body must be very close by. <clears throat> I'm probably only recording this one episode because of my voice, uh, so I can't use the yeah. Look at that. Um, because of my voice, like it, it feels like it, I can already feel like it getting worse and stuff. But um, I just wanted something out I on Monday. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face <laughs> right into it. Don't do that. Ah, wow, I was about to say it's like aliens, but that's straight up a face hugger. It isn't. It's like a fallen aliens reference. Got a special nutrition oh, that was easy. Oh, not sure what this one is. <laughs> that didn't look good. It's brown. <sighs> I know this. I can. Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? I'm trying to. Avalanche. Uh, a runaway train. A spaceship under attack. And a mysterious object on the hull. I already did that, though. What did we get in like the present? Uh, I guess go with avalanche. To help those avalanche victims. I knew you would help them soon. <coughs> Let's see him. Flying course for Planet Galactica. Because I'm getting a weird sense because it feels because I don't think it's like, like a kid's game, but I think that looks like a condom. <laughs> this is the massive avalanche. It's worse than it looks. Really? How? Let's go. I don't like ice cream. <laughs> That's not worse. <laughs> uh. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Shay. It's the first time I got... What's the first time I got called... Oh, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. something called with a name. I press space. Got it. Um, because I'm pretty sure it's not a kid's a game. So I just feel like something weird's going on. Because it's like... Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Alright, so I guess all of this is still like in on the ship, and they're just like, oh, can I eat the way out? I can't wait to be in your mouth again. Don't say that. <laughs> I, I don't know if Shay's AH, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> you think you would start eating, like, you know, where they are? You're going to love this dinner pill. Either. Spaghetti or aspirin? <laughs> yeah, something definitely weird is what going on. Should we go on next, sweetie? So we. Sh so yeah, these are changing. These two, these one, two in the center are the originally, but the ones that we did have changed. So I guess let's, let's go runaway, runaway train. train. <laughs> <laughs> going into Spike Six Canyon. I don't know if this is like, I don't know. I'm trying to think about what this all means. That's oh, more of these dudes. <laughs> and that, that's another thing that was on our ship. So I guess yeah, all of this is just inside our ship. Bridge man. Oh. That was... 
sleep, Bridge Man. Wake up, Bridge Man. We're safe. That's strange. Uh, why would you have like, you know, that kind of? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Absolutely not. I'm starting. I still since like a, I'm starting to feel like not helping is the thing to do. I guess get that sense, because if nothing is changing, never doing it anyway. Uh, oh. Okay. So brave, but you're still my precious little baby captain. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. What looks like a good idea? Going to bed? Also, how does that Rise blanket keep us warm? <laughs> Better be. <sighs> sure. Sure. What difference does it make? Oh, does the bowl get happy when you fill it? Oh yeah, it does. I didn't even realize. Yeah, they didn't add any milk to that. Is the alert with this, or is it like? Fake train wreck. I guess. We have to defend the friendship circle. Friendship oh, I circle. Who would attack those poor defenseless cuties? To the teleporter room. I like Space Mom, even though she's probably lying to us in some way. I like her. I'm aboard the distressed vessel, Friendship Circle. He's not talking. Found one of the crew. That really looks like a condom. <laughs> like, look at it. Hello. What happened here? <coughs> From an enemy vessel or an alien creature? Thanks. Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Among us. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Special nutrition paste today. Grilled cheese. It's still the same dirt color. <laughs> that doesn't look very good. Okay then. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Uh, I gotta get out of this routine. Yeah, but how? <sighs> Hello, space mom. All right, let's do the train wreck and not open the bridge. Okay, space mom. Cause that's the only thing I can think of how to. Yeah, just not wake him up. Wake up, bridge man. Back to sleep, bridge man. So long as if I just don't. Son, what are you doing? That's not right. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Gonna survive this? I mean, they're still f falling. Oh, okay. What's, oh, Is that a wolf man? Having fun? Uh. Mm -hmm. Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey, wait. What? <laughs> um, okay. So there's just a wolf man at the bottom of the cavern. No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. <laughs> All missions are canceled. 
Oh. Oh. <sighs> God, I feel I like Space Mom, even though I know she's probably she's definitely lying to us and it's probably being doing something evil. She's she's cute. She's cute Space Mom. Weird. No missions. I can do whatever. I'm pretty happy about it. Just once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid hurtling in our direction. Damn. It's <laughs> pretty intense. Cancelled until further notice. I don't even know what this <laughs> is. Whoops. Oh, can Come I? Come on. Puppy, I can open it. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. <laughs> right, so, Grab and Gary. Got it. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Um. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Okay then. Just. Missions canceled until. I mean, if it's compressed air. <laughs> Whoops. Putting into this, I think I might, you know, <laughs> might want to leave that on, maybe. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Oh, is that what this is? Is that what that is? I thought it was like a key. It works. Hmm. <laughs> Can't just throw it away. I want to keep it, dude. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Inf oh, can I, uh... I guess I can change to her story whenever. Uh, I want to do these one at a time. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Okay, space mom. <laughs> Why do they just <laughs> have the dad come in and just, like, not do anything? <laughs> I guess I get out of bed. So we can't go to the door. Inflatable raft. Can I go this way? No. Why do computers need sleep? I don't know. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Okay. Maybe I'm the robot. What are all of these things? Oh. Like if I double tap, I like, walk fast. <sighs> it looks like an inflatable raft. I can't make enough pressure to blow it up myself. Oh. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Yep. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna put that in? Blow up doll of me. Creepy. I'm gonna put it in my bed so I can sneak out. This looks enough like me to fool the warden. Warden? So, why was that just in the vent? Did the weird fox man put it there? Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. <laughs> she's, she's still nice, even though she thinks yeah, we're... Computers are stupid. <laughs> even, like, when she, like... You know, we're asleep, she could say whatever. She's still being nice. S space mom. I like space mom. She's just misunderstood. <laughs> okay well, then. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came. <laughs> because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek. And what I'm about Marek. to show Why does that sound familiar? Is no game. While Shutting. you drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. I don't want to say that. <laughs> Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. 
Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. Executed? But... Yes? We... We have to save them. My yes. cat is here. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. He's like, he's got, got a long neck. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This How'd you get here? With one function, to keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. <laughs> I don't even know that. This guy's pretty shady, too. <laughs> At least Space Mom... Is uh. Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> he does talk to himself a lot, so. If I give the space weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. How does that work? <laughs> Some stars on this star chart. Oh, uh, do I have to give it to up here? <coughs> hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Good idea. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Okay, man, we get it. Deploying oh, okay. It's taking a while. Three, two, one. Oh, I should. Whoa. That's like one of those in kaleidoscope. That's what it is. Another safe voyage brought to you by. If I give the Space Weaver a start... You think that, that would wake the computer up? Thank you, Space, hey, Space Weaver. Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. I think he has a beard. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so come back. So there's a shady... wolf man living in like our basement and then the space mom we should be in the talon nebula now great work young cub oh, this Go mouth doesn't move the distress signal now <laughs> this is worse than i thought the what? good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being what can i do here take these controls like his mouth isn't moving there's like a line on the is there someone wearing a mask I can't. I also can't tell. To oh god. The shield so the boom arms can be extended. What is? What? Go on, lower the shield. How? Good. Oh, okay. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned. Oh, it's like a crane game. Got and it. Press this to engage the grappling sequence. You made it. I got it. Beep, Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in Okay, this guy's up to it's nothing good either. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save <laughs> more smug quickly before their captors return. I don't trust this guy either. This guy's the movement controls to position the ship. Yeah, it's just a crane game. Like this guy's shady too. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and. Oh no. What is it? 
Is that? Yeah. Have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! Oh, bye, dude. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. Do you want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. <laughs> Danger System. It's probably Jay, safe there. Are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Alright. I generally don't know who to trust now because this guy is still suspicious. <laughs> Excuse me, Merrick, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the space weaver, right? I don't trust him. At all. But... Whatever. Something. <laughs> hey, space weaver. Can you take me here? Good idea! Yep, yep, yep. Engage! Okay, we can skip all that, nice. <laughs> I'm sure I can go there, but... <laughs> I don't know. Danger System 5. Okay. What a name. We should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, is it just more of this? Got it. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo. Careful. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> I don't know why that's really funny to me. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. That's I can't personal. tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young. Yeah, why is this being so weird about it? But hurry, we're running out of time. That was a quick one. <sighs> that was okay, so that's warm. enough. What do you mean that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. Okay, there's yeah, there's no way. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. <laughs> this is a waste of time. There is no. Was he like eating them? <laughs> I have no idea. Look, I did it. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before. Was that like a bad one, or are you just? Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels. I warned you about. Remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location, and we're completely locked out of the controls. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. Oh, does is mom the awake? computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was yeah. check on you and your... Oh. Space mom. <laughs> Shay, Shay, are you hurt? Hi, mom. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something mm -hmm. attacked the ship, but mommy's oh, taking care of it. Oh, dad outside. Nothing to worry about, okay? So it's like mom, like. Mom generally cares. Again, it's, like, it's a computer, but I'm just gonna keep calling her mom. But it's like hiding stuff. But also, the guy's hiding stuff. I don't trust either of them. They're both weird. I don't like. <laughs> At least mom is cute. We'll get back to Merrick to hear his plan. All right. Go. Gonna vent. 
I, I was still really spending this entire time thinking of an Among Us joke, but honestly, the best Among Us joke is just screaming Among Us because it's hilarious and every single time it makes me laugh. I don't know why. Uh, actually, I'm gonna end the ep episode here because, again, I'm about, I was only recording this one episode today because my voice is so shot. But, <clears throat> uh, I don't really have anything to say this time. Damn. <laughs> um,. I wonder if I should go and go back and forth between the two stories. I wonder if that that probably affects things. I am assuming because I, I assume those two character stories are connected. It just it'll be kind of weird if there's just two completely separate stories that don't interact at all. You know, but um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess yeah. This is I'm gonna at least have a, a week's break because <laughs> my voice. But see you next time. Also, Among Us.